What is it, magical people? Manny the Mage here, and today in Valheim, I'm going to be showing off and putting to the test one of my most complicated and crazy builds yet. That's right, folks, I spent some time building this amazing biome spanning boat ramp that can get you from the top of a mountain to sailing the high seas in no time at all. So, if you guys are ready to check out this build with me and test it out with all the boats that Valheim has to offer, stay tuned and I'll catch you soon. So the first thing I'd like to say is that this build taught me a lot of things about the depth of Valheim's creative mode. As you can see, when I started out the build, I placed down different crafting stations and spawned the raw materials, not realizing I could simply push B and negate all of that. So here you can see on the bottom, I have like jankily cobbled together the supports here out of raised ground and random wood supports. But then as you get further up the ramp, you can see where things sort of start to click. And off to the sides, you can see I have the stone walls to protect the ramp from those gray dwarf hooligans. And then on the side of the ramps itself, I put on this iron fencing, and that's just to help keep the boats from flying off of the ramp. So now that I've showed off a little bit of the build to you guys, I think it's time to test this thing out. And with that, here we are at the very top of the mountain. And it's kind of crazy just how, how big this ramp is itself and just to see it from the top here. Um, but let me explain to you the setup I got going here. So this is sort of the system that I've created to ensure that the boats can kind of have like a place to sort of temporarily sit. And then we were able to open these doors, which causes the boat to fall through and then we can slide down it. I don't know if that was a full entire sentence, but I think you guys understand what I'm saying here. So without further ado, do you know we just have to go through each of the boats in Valheim and uh, and test this bad boy out just see how it is so the first one we're gonna start we're gonna start you know just sort of in tiers right gonna begin with the raft here sort of like right here yeah there we go perfect and then I can kind of drop down here and you, you guys can kind of start seeing oh my god oh god I'm sliding okay but you guys can kind of see the recipe here for what we're doing so if only I can just very very simply open both of these doors Hopefully close to the same time. Bink. Okay, that's good. All right, this other one. Okay, here we go. Hold this to fast, and we're off. Maybe. Hopefully. All right, let me see if I can maybe, like, push it and hop on. Oh, God. Oh, 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 oh. Here we go. Oh, am I even holding on? I'm, I'm not holding on. All right, and there I go. Yeah, well, it appears that the failure was that we didn't have it close enough. Oh, that might be a little too close. Um, um, so I'm gonna open that. Oh, woo, woo. Oh, there she goes. Ah ha ha. Here we go. I think we're, I think we're off. Oh, we're off to the races. Let's course correct, course correct, course correct. Oh, okay. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. I am upside down. Oh, okay. Here we go. Here we go, guys. I have a good feeling about this. Okay, just kidding. All right, and we're upside down. Wow. Wow. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Round two? Round two with this boat? Hold on. Oh, okay. Never mind. Um, but in terms of boats here, I don't think the raft is going to be the best for this build. So it's on to, uh, to the next boat here which would be the carve. Now I've only really used the carve once for this off screen and it worked pretty well. So hopefully, you know, maybe I can replicate that success. The carve is also really good because it kind of slots right in between those doors. So if I just, oh, oh, please. Okay, so it's a little janky. Okay, just a little, just a little janky. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, activate the rudder just so that when we do get down there, we're gonna be, we're gonna be soaring. All right, and then I'm gonna open this. Okay. Oh, 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 am I in? Am I in? I don't know. I don't know. Hold on. Oh, okay. Nope. There it goes. Oh, well, did it make it to the water? It did make it to the water, just not with me in it. Okay, that's pretty, uh, a pretty good wedge, actually. So, if I can open that, and then quickly swivel over. Open, swivel over. <gasps> okay. Open, swivel over. There we go. We're on it. All right, guys. All right, guys. This is the one. I feel good. I feel good. Okay. 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 Why? 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 Are we still gonna? Oh, okay. Well, <laughs> everything I make gets destroyed. All right. So we're gonna try the carve one more time, and then we're gonna move on to like the big boat, the long ship, and see how that fares. So let's just drop that down there. Okay. Almost. Let's try to see if we can salvage this. I think. And hold it fast. Hold it fast. There we go. Oh, oh, okay, and we're off. We're off to the races. This is going, this is going swimmingly. This is going so well. Oh, well, we made it, guys. 
Can you believe it? Time for the final boat. Um, now this one I'm really excited for because I haven't actually gotten a chance to try this. I don't even know how I'm going to slot this correctly. This might become really messy really fast. Alright, here we go. Okay. Well, there she blows. Is, she, is it going to make it though? Oh, that one made it. <gasps> there is hope yet. Alright, so I'm realizing I might have to build a whole other structure just to fit the long ship. So, I'll catch you guys in a second. We're going to do probably a quick little speed build here. See what we can do. Okay, so here I've built an impromptu setup um, for specifically the longship. Um, I just sort of extended out the little dock thing we had going, and then I could kind of sit it like this, uh, so that once I actually move those doors in the front there, uh, then it'll actually start falling. So we're gonna go ahead and make sure, test this out, see if it works. Um, I think I can go ahead and sit on this, so I won't actually have to like go back and uh, you know stabilize and all that. I'm going to go ahead and real quick use the rudder. Make sure that the sails are full mass so that when we do hit the water, uh, we'll be zooming. So, I think... Oh god, guys, I'm nervous. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, sit on the stool, sit on the stool. Here we go, guys, here we go, here we go, here we go, come on, come on. You can do it, come on, come on. Oh my god, guys, so close. Open it up. Oh, here we go, here we go. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, I think we're too big to fail, guys. I think we're too big to fail, guys. <gasps> oh! Wow. And we're off. And we're sailing. <laughs> wow. I can't believe that actually finally worked. Oh my goodness gracious, guys. Um, well, I think we're gonna go ahead and end it off on a high note here. If you guys liked the video, be sure to hit that like button. If you're new here, you might as well subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching. This has been another installment of Valheim Creative Mode. Just a little series I like to do where I test out the extent to Valheim's creative mode and uh, share the results with you guys. So let me know in the comment sections down below too if you guys have any suggestions for anything you'd like to see put to the test in Valheim's creative mode. Uh, but with all that said, I've been Made the Mage, and I'll catch you guys in the next one here.